Hello, welcome to Pike Creek Farm. If this is your first time here, thank you so much for stopping in. My name is Renee and we live on almost eight acres in the thumb of Michigan. And we have chickens and I love to cook and bake and can and do vintage recipes. And tonight we're doing a vintage recipe from my mom. It's actually my son's favorite recipe. Chicken divine, chicken divan. I'm not sure the way you pronounce it, but I'm cleaning out my pantry and my freezers and on Sunday for dinner I had cooked a whole chicken that had been cut in pieces that had been in the freezer for a year or more so it was time to use it up. We had it for dinner a couple of nights and now this is the leftover and for chicken divine you want two to four cups of chopped up cooked chicken. Now you could use your ugly chicken if you can chicken for this. You can use a rotisserie chicken Mom would just get some chicken breast and cook them up in some water and I'm just using my leftover. And you can use turkey too. So let's make this quick. It's my first day back to work after a holiday break. I want something quick. So you spread the chicken in the bottom of a pan. This is a pretty deep square pan. You can use an oblong pan, like a brownie pan. And I usually even like double this, so then I make it in a nine by 13. And next we need to make the sauce. And the sauce is what makes it special, at least according to my son. And I make this from my mom's recipe, and he still likes my mom's butter. So something about grandma making it makes it more special. So it's one can of crema chicken soup and a half a cup of mayonnaise. And I don't even really measure it, but I will have the correct measurements down below. Mix that together. Then we put just a splash, probably like a teaspoon, at the, maybe not even, like a half a teaspoon of lemon juice in there. Now you can add seasoning to the chicken if you want, salt, pepper. My chicken's already seasoned from when I cooked it and I don't think it needs anything else. Now we pour this sauce over the chicken. I have my oven on preheating to 350. And I love meals like this that go into a casserole dish and just go in the oven and then they're ready. I'm calling these meals my warm winter dinners. And I'm going to try and do one every Thursday for January. So next I have a pack of broccoli florets. You can use chopped broccoli. You know, and if you don't, it's traditionally made with broccoli, but if you like cauliflower better or green beans, you could always substitute. You could use California medley, but broccoli is the traditional. And some of those pieces are big. I'm going to cut some of these up. And this was frozen broccoli, so I put it in the microwave for like the minimum amount of time. We always serve this, as mom did, with yellow rice. We used to not be able to buy it up here in Michigan. Whenever we'd go to Florida to visit my grandparents, we would stock up on it and they would bring it whenever they came. But now I can buy it at Walmart. <laughs> okay, so I have that evenly dispersed. We're gonna grate cheese over the top of it. 
You can use pre-shredded if you want. I like to shred my own cheese. I think it uh, melts better. But you know, I saw someone, I think it was on TikTok, that said your shredded cheese, if you want it to melt better, to put it in the colander and rinse it. And that gets that extra powder off of it that's to help it from not clumping together in the store. So we'll spread the cheese out. So this was a half a chunk of cheese that I had in the refrigerator, you know, in the deli drawer. So I'm just trying to use up things we already have in the house this month and not have to go to the store and save some money and figure out what we use and don't use and so that's ready now you could put this on white rice you could put it on potatoes you could just eat it the way it is now we're going to sprinkle some breadcrumbs i have some panko here Well, there was no measurement. She just said sprinkle. <laughs> so now I'm going to cover this with foil and I'm going to put it in the oven for a half hour and then I will check on it. We want it to all kind of meld together and the cheese to get all melty. And sometimes I will add more cheese on top and another layer of the crumbs a little to make it extra crunchy and cheesy on top. We'll see if I think we have enough. My mom started making this in the 70s, late 70s when I was in high school. So she's been making it a long time. And she's done it for like baby showers and for different gatherings. And she's just always in one of her standby dishes, you know, for potlucks at church or anything. And when we'd go visit them in Florida, she'd always ask the kids, what do you want me to make? They each got to pick one thing. Ben always picked this and Natasha always picked stuffed cabbage. <laughs> so, but she always made their favorite dinners for them. So I'm going to put this in the oven and I'll bring you back. And I'm going to cook the yellow rice too, but I just follow the package instructions. It's nothing special but it goes really well with this. Here it is out of the oven. I didn't add any more cheese. I didn't want to open another pack and trying to preserve it for the last during the pantry challenge. So let me, and it was plenty cheesy. You can see it makes a nice sauce. The chicken is not dry at all. Here's the rice. Some rice. Here it is. Sometimes I'll serve it with like pickled beets, but tonight it was the first day back to work. And it's cold and damp out, so. with some of the rice. I should send Ben a picture. Dinner. If you like this video, if you push the like button, it really helps me. And if you want to see more videos on canning and cooking and vintage recipes and baking and life here at Pike Creek Farm, push the subscribe button. I would love to have you here. Thank you so much. I'll see you next time at Pike Creek Farm.